Uh, she's your market broker. Today we're discussing a cost avoiding analysis. Now, I wanted to add the what's called the two-win buy-down. And if you've seen my previous video, I've talked about the two-win buy-down. But what really is the two-win buy-down? The two-win buy-down is really a temporary buy-down. What does that mean? Well, we know in, in situations where we're in a high uh, rising rate environment, we know that the banks tend to come out with products that are going to help you know, the situation. So they must know something we don't, right? Because they're coming out with these products. And for some reason, they always come out when we're close to a recession or we're already in a recession. So I wanted to provide this analysis so it can provide clarity so you can explain this to your clients if you're a, if you're an agent or if you're a potential borrower and you're thinking about making a purchase so you can understand the program and realize that this is a great opportunity to take advantage of. And you can make the best decision based off this analysis that will help you with that. So what I did is I, I put together um, you know, the uh, analysis that's gonna show you the first two years of the 2-1 buy now. And I also provided a column that's going to be called the cost of waiting. And last but not least, you're going to see the price and seller credit. Now, the price and seller credit is really what it's trying to explain is that in this market, I'm starting to see not only price adjustments, but also, you know, offers getting accepted at 50 to 100,000 less than what the sales price is. So that's huge. So that's why it's a great opportunity right now to take advantage of because as you're going to see in the numbers, it actually makes more sense to purchase during this time right now because there's a lot of fear in the market. There's a lot of uh, the media is playing a huge role on, you know, buyers leaving the market and not trying to buy today. Now, one of the things that we're going to look at here, you're going to see in the 2-1 buy down that the first year, you're actually using a seller credit of up to 3% to buy down the first year by 2%. So if technically we're at a 6.9 with FHA programs. That's your standard rate. You would be able to buy it down by two percent, meaning that you would be at, at about four point nine nine percent, and your payment would be fifty one fifty three with fifty seven cents. The second year, you're going to be able to buy it down by one year. Same thing with those same three percent seller credit. So now your payments, your rate's going to go down by five point nine nine percent because it's only one percent that goes down, and your payments will be fifty fifty five ninety seven. And if you were to actually do the price and seller credit where you can actually adjust the price by submitting, um, asking your agent to send an offer at anywhere from 50 to 100,000. This scenario is 100,000 less from the 715. You're paying at a 4.99% interest rate saying that, you know, you're looking at the first year of the, of the 2-1 buy down. Your payment will be 44.53 with 76 cents. Now, let's look at what's gonna happen once, once the buying frenzy begins again, because we know that prices are not gonna stay like this forever. We also know that because we're in a recession, rates are subject to fall. So once it catches wind, once it catches, you know, the masses start knowing what's going on, we're gonna see the buyer frenzy come back in. What happens if, if that's the case? Well, if that's the case, once rates drop to, let's just say 4.4%, because that's what Fannie Mae's predicting, you know, you're gonna see the, the competition come in. So let's just say we're gonna have 15 to 20 offers, now you're not buying the property for 715. You're not buying the property for 615 at a price adjustment negotiating. Now you're buying it probably at 750 or more. In this scenario, 750. So even though you're getting the rate, the premium rate at 4.4, if you're able to compete and get this house, your payment now is 51, 35, 47. So when we compare it to these, yeah, it's a little bit less than your first year on the FHA 2-1 buy down, but now you're paying more for that property. And knows it might be even more than the 750 range so those are things that i want you to consider and understand now we can adjust this scenario and analysis for anybody who wants to see if it makes sense so feel free to reach out to us and we'll provide you with that personalized mortgage report and also please share like and comment and thank you so much